Life is a continuous flow of energy. Everything that exists, no matter how complicated, has a meaning, a purpose, which is included in reality, in the general flow of the universe. This flow causes constant transformation and change, most of which are outside of our control, and we may perceive it as intangible, complex, or oftentimes incomprehensible. We experience joyful moments, but also moments that push us out of our comfort zone. The later we experience as discomfort or even chaos, when we lack the wisdom to understand and are not prepared to face them. Thus, this lack of control and the feeling of being over your head become one of the most challenging aspects of life. Whether we choose to or not, we can't control this kind of change and the pressure it puts in our lives. We can't escape it either. What can we do then? First, we should realize that all this is a part of the universe and its cycles. Although man today hates the concept of disorder, chaos, error, absurdity, nature uses these concepts in admirable ways to create new beings and develop consciousness for a new life. The collision of galaxies give birth to new constellations. The birth and death of stars live an aftermath of galaxies, planets and even living organisms. Our planet before it became habitable, had to go through a long process of transformation from a violent molten rock to supporter of life. Some animal species had to evolve over time in order to adapt and survive, and this is not a simple process. Some plants had to develop and adapt in hot conditions in the desert struggling for moisture. Consider the tree. It is only strong through the struggle to withstand wind and storm, rain and sunshine, and heat or cold. Early microbes and the first thought forms of life on the planet in their struggle for life, clashed with and consumed hydrogen gas. Thus, there is chaos and confrontation before establishing order and stability, from atomic levels to even greater scales. This is a continuous cycle of yin-yang that makes the development of life possible. A man should know how to enjoy good cycles while renewing and cultivate the strength to face difficult ones. Life is a challenge. The feel-good advertising industry wants us to think that an easy life is one purchase away completely free of any cost, effort, confrontation or risk. In this way, this industry creates weak people, masquerading a lack of effort as absolute comfort and fear of confrontation as pseudo-pacifism. Many try to fight the fact that life is difficult and seek out ways to numb themselves or find temporary bombs in order to feel good. This is simply not true. Life is meant to be challenging. Accepting this is the first step to develop your potential as a human being and face your life as a warrior. Life contains a lot of battles, and most of them are inner ones. Behind these battles await the lessons we need to learn in order to evolve. It seems that it is deep-rooted in our DNA that we constantly have to respond to changes outside of our comfort zone. Nature pushes us through constant phases of initiation in order to grow stronger and wiser. Even though there are things that are out of our control, we should aim precisely to develop what we do have in our control in order to face what life has in reserve for us head-on. Living your life as a warrior means welcoming all that life has to offer and immersing yourself hip-deep in the experiences it presents to you, including affirming and difficult ones, rather than obsessing about potential harm that might result. In order to do that in the best way possible, you must take care to train as a wall in mind, spirit and body. We lose our inner and outer strength and get discouraged when we don't do anything to keep ourselves in shape mentally, emotionally and physically. We are like running water, we must keep flowing in order to not become stale. Deep down, there is a hidden potential that wants to be expressed. The way we train helps us do precisely that. On a conscious level or not, we will face challenges on a physical, emotional and mental level. Our battles aren't always physical. Sometimes we must overcome mental and emotional enemies. Understanding how to train and balance the mind, spirit and body is key in achieving your potential as a warrior and human being. The mind, or our mental strength, includes strategy, tactics, awareness, concentration, timing, analytical and memorizing abilities, skills and much more. Spirit, or emotional strength, includes resilience, courageous heart, emotional fortitude, and your heart and attitude as a warrior. It reflects the strength of your character. Lastly, the body includes strength, flexibility, endurance, conditioning, robustness, balance, muscle memory for your techniques, and many other attributes. These three are not separated, they interact and complement one another. For instance, 
to train your muscle memory for technique, unit concentration, awareness and memorizing abilities, which are qualities of the mind. Also, if you lack physical endurance, robustness and many other physical attributes, along with awareness, concentration and other mental qualities, it will become easier to break your spirit and despite being prepared physically and having brilliant strategies, you will not be able to use them effectively if you are not in control of your emotional sphere. When we strengthen, balance and combine these three aspects of our being, we channel our energy efficiently. Consequently, we become prone to enter a particular psychological state where every action flows and you channel the warrior archetype. You reach greater skill in defending or evading incoming attacks and in delivering devastating strikes with power and speed. By training in this way, a warrior can use these abilities not only inside a fight as a martial artist, but also in other areas of life, because we take martial arts skills to the next level when we have the same psychological approach in a fight and in everyday life challenges. It is a psychological state that prepares you for responding positively to the complex nature of our modern day lives. As we said before, life is our challenge and our daily life is our battlefield. Our training is a microcosm intended to expand our potential to all other aspects of life. Everything is connected. The limits we break and the potential we harness during our training manifest in all other areas of life. The state we reach by training in the triune mind-spirit-body propels you toward embracing rather than avoiding or sabotaging your life. That's why we must take the decision to remove what is harmful and unproductive and start to build our way towards this inner strength. Inside of us, a mysterious source of energy exists, and that is sheer willpower that pushes us to move toward the direction that inspires our heart or a goal to be reached. When this is achieved, energy flows freely and we become better at thinking, being inspired, having clarity of mind and acting accordingly. This might not be achieved immediately, but sticking to your training schedule with patience and discipline, you will see results eventually. We truly believe that having a warrior lifestyle is not about being reckless and destructive. Rather, it is about cultivating the potential to grow and face what life has in reserve for us by being unaffected by what is toxic and harmful and having the strength to protect what we love, by being brave and finding the will to never give up. For that reason, all the content we share will be about training, lifestyle, challenges, mindsets and many more topics that reflect these beliefs. Stick with us if you also enjoy this lifestyle and want to contribute by helping this channel grow. Hope you enjoy this experience. Much respect for watching until this point and if you enjoyed this video, please share it in order to help this channel grow. See you in the next video.